Hi there, this is Brittany. I received the most recent Beadbox Bargains monthly subscription for December and I thought I'd do a quick um, opening to show what was in the shipment this month. So I'll put everything in there. And the little sheet they send that says everything in the shipment this month says um, December's collection features festive holiday accents coupled with timeless turquoise. Ooh, my favorite to move easily into the new year. Um, Sing Kiang turquoise components include five teardrop vocals and a seven inch strand of faceted rondelles. The variety of turquoise has a low copper content so it is stabilized with color permanently added to create these vibrant beads. Other collection highlights include agate, pe uh, agate pebbles, glass accents, and a pewter focal uh, perfect for creating either a statement necklace or a handmade ornament. I am super excited. I love turquoise. My favorite color on earth. And anywhere else for that matter. I love that they always come in this little organza bag. It makes it really nice to re-gift later if I make a piece of jewelry for one of my friends or family or sell. Um, and I love that she, or whoever runs this, but usually it's signed by Lauren Fenty. Um, I love that they package everything with numbers so I know what's what. Um, so I'll just dump everything in. Actually, I'm gonna pull everything out separately. So I'm not going to go in order because that would probably take a while. First thing I pulled out is this package, number 10. It's like some really fun red beads. I don't typically use a lot of red, so I like to get out of my comfort zone with these bargain bead boxes. So wow, these are really nice. And they're not, they're bigger than seed beads, but they're not very big. These are a seven and a half inch strand of six by four millimeter glass top drilled rondelle beads holly berry red well these are certainly holly berry color they're very pretty um, and they are slightly drilled off center so um, I don't know if you can see that so they're the, they're top drilled those will be interesting especially paired with turquoise so back in here Um, the next thing I pulled out is, I love that's one of the things I love about Bargain Beatbox. They always include some chains so you can make the whole look. Um, this week, or this month is one meter, five, one meter of five millimeter oval steel, oval steel jewelry chain. Lead free, nickel free. Oh, one little, we have a little straggler there. But this is pretty nice chain. Very nice, very sturdy. Okay, next we have number 14, which is a seven and a half inch strand, approximately, of six to 12 millimeter tumbled agate pebble beads, evergreen. These are interesting. There are several different colors. They look like they're dyed. So we have brown in there. We have a darker green, a lighter green, pebbled throughout. Be interesting to see what I make with this. Um, I'm thinking probably a bracelet, accents in a bracelet. I'll have to do a finished jewelry video with what I make out of this um, this month's kit. Okay, next is number two. And this is a seven and a half inch strand of six by four millimeter. And I know I'm probably saying this wrong, Sinking turquoise faceted rondelle beads. These are gorgeous. These are lovely. These would look really nice on a memory wire bracelet or on a thinner um, necklace, shorter necklace. Um, next is number three, which are 40 piece, seven millimeter lacy bead caps. I love bead caps. I love that um, 
Burgundy Bucks usually includes them in just about every um, kit, every monthly subscription. I don't use a ton of um, the antique broadens anymore. I used to a lot when I used to sell on Etsy. It was one of my favorite things to use. Right now I'm, I usually use the silver colored or gold um, colored uh, components, but I what I love to do with this um, color is use a vintage patinas. They look really great with this and antique copper. So I notice you can pretty much do any color ever. They're a lot of fun and they dry really quickly. So maybe I'll do something with that. Next we have oh, some toggle clasps. That's something that they always include in their kits. So it's very nice, um, nice weight, nice size. These are number four, it says three sets. So you get three uh, 20 by 22 millimeter swirl pattern toggle clasps. And everything is uh, lead and nickel free. Next we have seven piece 19.5 by 15 millimeter snowflake charms. So seven of them. Oh, these are really nice. These are really cute. Very nice. These will be really cute as earrings. Again, I'd probably use um, a patina on them. to uh, Maybe a white or a pale pink or uh, even a verdigris color. Um, or they'd be nice, so they'd be nice as earrings or a charm on a bracelet. You could do like a cha-cha necklace too with them. Very cute. Um, next we have two piece, 29, oh, is this number nine or number six? So this is number nine. Actually we have six piece, 22 by five Millim or 22.5 by 16 millimeter snowflake round links. Oh, these are cute. I have these in silver from them and I love them and I've used them before. Before, when I purchased or when I received these, um, I cut off one of the links with a wire snip and used it as a dangly charm. So that's a really cute way to do it on a bracelet or you can use it like this as a link in an earring or a necklace or anything. Very nice. I see some painting and vintage um, antiquing in my future. <laughs> um, next, these are super cute. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Number 15, um, two-piece, 24 millimeter lamp work glass Christmas tree beads. Look at these. Oh my gosh. These would be perfect for earrings, these are so cute. Or you could, um, I can picture putting like a bead cap at the top and like a star bead up here. Um, or you could use it as a topper for a tassel. Oh my gosh, these are just the cutest little thing. Little tiny ornament dots and the, the light string in white. Ugh, these are adorable. I don't know what I'm gonna use these for, but they're super cute. Okay, um, next we have some more green beads. <clears throat> this is kind of all, an all over the place um, kit. It's very interesting to me. I haven't really seen the, I haven't seen the theme yet. It's, it's got orange and red and green and turquoise. So these are really cool. They have, they're kind of matte. Yeah, I guess they would be matte. I was gonna say they're kind of in between matte and glossy, but no, they're matte. They have, like a half finish on one side. What number is this? Number 17, eight inches, uh, Chinese crystal, eight by six millimeter rondel beads, rondel beads, uh, matte lime shimmer. Very cool. I don't have anything this color and this, um, like matte in this color. It's very interesting. I haven't seen that before. Um, next we have number 11. Five piece, approximately uh, 31 by 10 millimeter. And here's that word again, Sinkang uh, K 
turquoise teardrop pendants. These are very nice. Uh, I don't really use a whole lot of uh, teardrops, but I don't really use a whole lot of top drill things, so this might get me out of my comfort zone. Um, these would be good for wire wrapping. Definitely for wire wrapping. They're very pretty. It's, it's interesting. This one isn't really turquoise. It's like brown. But that could be it's it could be in the middle of all these four. That would be pretty. Or um, on its own in a pendant. And you can make earrings out of these. Those are interesting. <clears throat> of course they're my favorite color, so I'm always gonna love something that's turquoise. Um, next we have two-piece 29 by 25 millimeter filigree wreath pendants. Now this one says um, lead free, nickel free, cadmium free. So a couple of these don't say cadmium free, but um, so here's the back and there's the front. These are adorable. Look at how adorable those are. Very cute earrings. Um, I'd probably use it on a charm bracelet. I don't, even though I make myself a lot of earrings, I tend to stick with just my gold studs all day, every day, but these would be adorable as earrings. Okay, and next we have some spacer beads. Um, 20 piece, seven by five millimeter fancy bicone spacer beads. Lead free, nickel free, cadmium free. So, I don't know that I would call this um, shape a bicone, just because it doesn't really look like a cone to me. It looks, it's more uh, softly rounded. But they're really nice. They're a nice, um, they're a really nice weight. They're not lightweight. Um, they're not too heavy, but look how detailed those are. These are really pretty. I would love to patina these. These are really nice. I may have to order more if they have them on their website. That's the good thing about Beatbox Bargains. Um, on their sister site, uh, no, it's, that's the good thing about Bargain Beatbox. On their sister site, beadboxbargains.com, um, they have a lot of good deals. And then you, if you're a monthly subscriber, you get the um, monthly coupon, which I won't share because that's one of the perks of being a subscriber and I'm sure um, the company wouldn't appreciate it um, so this is the next item it is number eight number nine so nope number six 61 by 58 millimeter round poinsettia focal ornament chandelier focal slash ornament chandelier I love it it's not your typical chandelier, but I could see um, using some jump rings and hanging some chain down, um, even maybe hanging some chain down and having these hanging off the bottom. That would be really cool. It's very, very detailed, and I love how big it is. This thing is big. It's very big. Okay. And then next, um, this one's number 12, 15 inch strand, six millimeter frosted glass round beads, electric coil, coral. I don't really know how this works into the monthly theme. I, I really haven't caught on to the monthly theme yet. Usually, typically, um, it's very clear and very well thought out. I'm not saying this isn't well thought out, but I don't really see how electric orange fits into this is orange, not red, not, I mean, it says coral, but it, it's, it's neon orange, um, which I actually really love these beads because I don't have anything like this. Um, and I love the mat of them and they're, um, the, how they're frosted, but I, I don't really see how they fit in with the theme. Again, the theme was merry and bright. Well, they're certainly bright but I do like them. They're very nice. I will be using those in something. I don't know that it'll be Christmas themed or holiday themed, but I'll definitely be using those. 
And then last but not least, oh, nope, I have two things left. Oh, here's some adorable stars. I think I got these one year, but in that year they were, um, they had like a charm hole instead of the bead, instead of it being lengthwise like these are. You can see the, the bead hole goes lengthwise. The year that I, the other year that I got stars were, the hole was going this way through the bead. And those were nice, but they ended up chipping and breaking because they put them as a um, charm on a bracelet. So I'm really excited. These are gorgeous. I really hope they have more of these on the site later on because I want more. These are gorgeous. These are called um, four piece, 13 millimeter cut glass crystal star beads, metallic green iris. So just looking at them through the camera, I don't know if you can tell, but they are slightly green. They're not silver. They're very pretty. They're very pretty. I wonder if they're, yep, look at that. I'm gonna open those trees again. So you could, oh my gosh, look how cute that would be if you put the tree below the star. That is adorable. I'm gonna have to do something with that. I love it. That would be so cute. And last but not least is number one. <laughs> of course I did that in my last order. 16 inch strand, eight millimeter man-made turquoise round beads. And turquoise is in parentheses, so I'm guessing these aren't really turquoise. But they're very cute. I have a lot of beads like this, so and I'm always buying more because they I use them. So they're really nice. Perfect size for just a regular stretchy bracelet, a necklace. Um, Really, you can't go wrong with eight millimeter turquoise beads. Um, so again, the theme was merry and bright, and it was definitely it was a, it was a surprise. This month was a surprise. I'm gonna say I really like this. I really like this. Sorry for the glare. Um, kit. I was surprised that it wasn't traditional Christmas, which sometimes they do, or winter. You know, I haven't really gotten a traditional winter. Um, Kit from Bargain Bee Box in a while, which I'm okay with. I love when they think outside the box. I, I that's the reason why I stay with um, Bargain Bee Box. Every every month is a surprise, and if if I don't love it, guess what? There will be one next month that I'll love. So, um, and I I always like seeing and getting things that I'm not used to seeing. Like I've never seen this pendant before. I've never seen these bright orange beads before. I've seen these, but not in this color. Um, never have I seen these beads before. So, I mean, the whole kit was fantastic, I think. And I, I shouldn't have put everything back in the bag because of the glare, but um, what do you think about this month's subscription? Let me know in the comments below and like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.